Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2. So in this part we will likely be in a war with the French, potentially the Russians as well, hopefully just the French. At least for this single war I'd rather fight the Russians in their own separate war. To start my timer, it is September, our truce recently expired with the French. Hopefully they'll declare war on us before the truce with the Russians expire, that way um, the Russians will have to declare their own separate war of containment. Um, but we shall s Wonderful! <laughs> Great, that's, uh, that's actually exactly what I was hoping would happen. And I'm going to actually slow down to three speed. Okay, so the Russians, in theory, will declare war on us probably in January. Um, that's something we're going to have to deal with. Um, I do plan to go and take Owl Saints from uh, the French in this war. Are you actually going to attack me? You are. Go down there and back them up. You go back him up. Thank you. I'll be taking L Saints off of you. And that should be easy enough to take, actually. Go and attack that army, actually. Try and destroy it if possible. Go back them up again. So we're already at war score six, or 13. In theory, we need 16. We're going to actually need more than 16. That's just the way this works. Um, you know, actually occupying the territory will help immensely with getting that war score. Go over there. Go back them up, actually. Ah. Uh, Back up taking care of the Sardinia Piedmont army, then back those guys up, and then turn back around and go there. No, Medina, you're not going to be allowed out. No, Parma. I, I mean, technically, I really could let them leave. I don't really benefit from uh, keeping them. in the war, actually. But it's not like these armies really have any troops anyway. So I might as well leave them in just so I can get the war score from keeping them. I will say this, I'm just going to try and end this war ASAP. I don't benefit from it dragging out.
Why don't you have a general? Back them up there, then you try and siege Navarra yourself. I will need 30 war score to actually be able to press my demands. I believe that's how it's typically worked out for me in the uh, test runs. Go back them up, they need it. I need to actually occupy that last territory, which we're so damn close to doing. Go and take care of that army. There we go. We're gonna liberate Al Saints. I don't care to drag this war on, like I said. quickly move our troops to go and help with the um, Russians because they will declare war on us uh, winning that did kick us up to number two which is great um, although we're kind of just barely holding on to it so I imagine we will lose it infantry, which I can easily give you. I actually don't need you to run all the way up there. Wonderful, you go over to there, you head to Vienna, you will now get what you need from Vienna, which is the infantry and an artillery. And now double check all these armies, I know somebody was missing something. You're missing a Hussar and a Cavalry, or excuse me, an artillery. You are missing an artillery. I'm actually going to send you down to here. You'll get some Serbian artillery. And we'll just kind of hope that, you know, having my troops on the, uh, on Russia's border will somewhat dissuade them from declaring war on us. It won't. They probably will still declare war on us. You know, I just need to try and persuade them not to. Oh, 
you know what? Let's bring Prussia into our sphere. Why the hell not? They got cotton and a wool and some coal and other stuff that I could potentially benefit from. And yes, I am upgrading the territories of my enemies. I know that doesn't sound like a good idea, but it, it, it does give me industry score. Even if it takes them 20 years to actually build the stuff. Now, the... Well, I have a free cultural kin on you. I don't know. The, but, nonetheless, whatever. The British should, for the most part, leave me alone. No, not in a regular infantry. speed again. No, I'm not going to clear Warren Brunswick. I mean, I could, but there's no real reason to do so. Out of curiosity, who do I have Have I loaned money to? The Ottomans? <laughs> Apparently, I've given quite a bit of money to my uh, African colony. And yeah, they lost their entire army in that war. Oh, the Ottomans declared it. Well, either way, I'm still fighting the Russians. Um, I am going to mobilize, because that's kind of a requirement for me, I'm afraid. And, um... I can kind of just leave the Ottomans be. They're... The Russians are the much bigger threat, and as long as I can force the Russians to give me peace, all will be good. So I basically just need to beat the crap out of the Russians fast enough to force them to give me peace. game is mobilizing you guys in such an annoying fashion. Curiosity, where are you guys at? 50% military tech and 11 out of 30 army techs. God, the Russians are so far behind militarily. Which, of course, is good for me. Actually, you know, just go there, and then I'll figure out where the hell to send you later. I could take stuff off of the Russians if I really wanted to. I don't. Well, it's not that I don't. I would love to take some stuff off of them. kind of want to get rid of this ugly bulge that will always exist. So I would love to take Brest. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. But basically just this little part here. Right here. Just so we have a nice, clean border with Russia. Um, once I found Gross Deutschland. Uh, but our infamy is already pretty high. I'd rather not go and let it get any higher than I absolutely need it to be right now, which is not at all. I don't know how high I'm going to have to get the uh, war score with them to 
make them give me peace. Let's improve our mining efficiencies. You're also pretty bad militarily, aren't you? Yes. Technically slightly better than the Russians. You have a few more military techs, although I don't know what military techs they are exactly. I don't know what we lost. But I'm assuming it's those tiny armies um, of reserves. Peace. Demobilize. We were a little over halfway mobilized. One there. Actually, the question is October for you, May for you. They're so close together, and I kind of need them both to be significantly weakened. I wonder if I could occupy South Germany and just keep the occupation going long enough to keep them down to a secondary power. That is a possibility, and that's probably what we're going to end up doing. I just I don't know if I can do it long enough. That's the thing. Because... They don't lose their industry score just because they occupy their territory. Um, they lose their army score. They might lose some prestige and probably some other stuff as well. But they don't really lose their industry score. Either way, we have two years to prepare for that, so we'll just kind of forget about it for now. You know, I can actually almost build an entire army over here. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? There really is no need to do that. Never mind. No need whatsoever, actually. Just hold off on that. Let's get this guy his, uh... Get these guys their missing pieces. Wonderful. Um, send you to Tushil. I don't know who needed that stuff. Because nobody seems to be... Ah, you are actually missing your hussars. Never mind then. Move you 
down to Vienna as well and then okay so I shouldn't have canceled those guys I should have checked first but oh well uh, something about posting and the die being cast I don't know what it was about but I don't care to find out either spending money to upgrade people's stuff ah the Russians are probably trying to really delay my taking of Persia not that it matters because I will easily take Persia I've always managed to succeed at that um, on the test runs from the save based on the end of part 15. So Persia will be joining our sphere of influence at some point. It's just a question of when and how much effort Russia wants to put in to try and stop me. It shouldn't be particularly difficult for me to do it. And I still can only build level two forts. I really should go in and research the thing for better forts. And I will, just not right now. Because it's not that important to me. It really isn't. And we just managed to overtake the British again. We'll see how long that holds. More Prussian communists. Doing this will make Vienna more liberal. It'll also give us some prestige and some life rating for whatever the hell life rating is worth in a territory that's not a colonial state. I really don't know what the hell life rating is supposed to be for here. Also, that's Vienna, not Venice, right? I'm looking in the wrong spot. Yeah, I'm looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what the hell life rating is supposed to be worth in a territory that's not... Um, a colonial territory. I just don't understand exactly how that works. Also, wow, really? 100% unemployment among all of our farmers. Really? Well, particularly all the non-German farmers. The German farmers are doing a little bit better for themselves. Uh, with the North German ones being communists. But yeah, I don't know what the hell life rating is supposed to be worth. This, is a, this isn't a colonial territory. There's no reason for life rating to have any effect whatsoever. Just a question of do, and it's only ten prestige. It's not really worth a whole hell of a lot, and it makes Vienna more liberal. Which uh, the policies in this game really make them unattractive, especially that anti-military one. Like, yeah, no, sorry, that ain't happening. Let's get uh, revolution and counter-revolution. And Prussia's managed to overtake the, uh, overtake two Sicilies. The 
beautiful. I'm gonna put you up there. Now I can build another army. Before I forget, let's go and improve Persia's opinion of us. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Doing like that. Okay, so in theory, that's sort of the last army that I can build. Um, until I can get a connection to here. Um, or until other territories grow. Although, you know, in theory, I could just do this as well. Encourage soldiers in Bohemia, Slovakia, and East Galicia. South Germans have no friends. Did... No? Nobody could have possibly removed these guys from your sphere, so I don't know how the hell you lost them. Yeah, somehow they lost them. I really don't know how the hell that happened. So, just whatever. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> uh, Scandinavia has decided to write a book on uh, what constitutes a great war. We will never be starting a great war as it stands right now because that would require me to um, have a great power ally because it requires there to be two great powers on both sides of the war um, at bare minimum. And, well, nobody wants to be my friend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're not allowed to have great wars. Um, at least none that I will start. Uh we can still easily have a great war that starts as a result of a crisis. Build some commerce raiders to fill out that navy. And Polish nationals will be able to siege all of this stuff relatively easily. Not that it matters. Prussia will somehow manage to get troops over there. Ah, oh, Bohemia, out of curiosity, who's your larger population? The rich or middle class? I'm going to go with probably the middle class. You know, if I just had to make a guess. Kind of wish you could also sort by just their filter, just show that stuff. But uh, let's see. So that's artisans, bureaucrats, clergymen, clerks, and officers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. Poor, not middle class um, yeah I imagine the rich are or the poor are probably your uh, largest group there so we'll let them we'll demand the police produce a perpetrator and there's my timer and Russia's gonna go to war with the Chinese now who still have not united, although if China ever manages to get their act together and um, unify, they are a force to be reckoned with. 
unless you manage to break them like I did one time in the Japan game where they kept having uh, communist and anarcho-liberal revolutionaries that just kept flipping the country back and forth. The country literally could never settle on a, uh, a uh, political party to lead them. And so, yeah, that didn't really work out well for them. They never managed to get very far. Especially since I would declare war on them again periodically. Well, like I said, since that was my timer, we're going to go ahead and end the part here. Next part, we'll be doing something with uh, Prussia and or the South German Federation. Just depends on how things uh, play out. We'll see. Uh, but yes, so, as always, reminder that I do have a Patreon. Link that down in the description below if you wish to go ahead and join it. Uh, for as little as a dollar a month, you get early access to all my parts. I think I also have an affiliate link down there to pick up Victoria 2. I think. I could be remembering incorrectly. I don't recall if I actually have one for this game. But if I do, if you go and buy it via that affiliate link, it will help the channel out because I will get a small commission on the sale. Um... So yes, uh, as always, like, for, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, a goodbye and a farewell.